Hey there, author Kelly Cameron once again, and I am going to read an excerpt, a uh, second excerpt, from Menagerie à Trois, the first in the Broken Head Heart series. And first I'll just do the back copy in case you didn't see the other uh, excerpt, just so you have a little idea about what's it about. It's an off-the-wall, very spicy romantic comedy. Dubbed the cat lady by her roommate, Cat Monroe admits to an ulterior motive for rescuing strays. A chance to visit the cute Dr. Evan Cole at the vet clinic. He makes her heart purr as much as her kittens do. Determined to ask him out before he thinks she's some crazy cat woman, Cat works up her courage for the next visit. Evan Cole doesn't see many females other than the animal variety at his veterinary clinic. Always a believer that the right woman will walk into his life someday, he made everything else, that school, his career, a priority over searching for love. But from the day Cat Monroe walks through the door with a stray feline rescue, his heart beats to see her again. His dilemma? How to create the perfect romantic date when you're clueless about dating. When they finally go on a date, disaster strikes at every turn. Will they be able to handle the menagerie, or will they decide that more isn't merrier? Cat grabbed the sides of his face and pulled him down into a kiss. Oh my god, that was incredible. Thank you. He nuzzled her neck, his cock sliding through her slick folds. Condom? You didn't come prepared, she teased. Her fingers tickled his neck and collarbone. He shrugged a shoulder and pressed his forehead to hers. I didn't think I'd get this far tonight. True, I didn't think so either. She pointed to the dresser beside the bed. Top drawer under the Andes. Evan reached over and opened the drawer. At the same moment, a horrible caterwauling reached his ears. What the hell? Scratching at the bedroom door followed, and more unholy noises ensued. Oh, crap, Cat muttered. The cats do this from time to time. When I have an orgasm, I'm not exactly quiet, and they must think I'm in pain. Evan stuck a finger in his ear in a vain attempt to clear it of the offending sound. What do we do? I've gotten used to ignoring it. Suddenly unsure whether he could perform under such conditions, he frowned and his erection wilted. Uh, maybe we should call it a night? Cat frowned. Really? Well, will they stop that god-awful noise? He asked. They will when I open the door and let them in. Once they say I'm okay, they'll settle down. One eyebrow rose on his forehead. But until then, they'll continue that? She traced the sides of his face with her fingertips. Trust me, you'll get used to it. I know it's not sexy, but you'll get used to it. Evans, wilting erection, doubted that. Ah, uh, well. He almost capitulated, but thought he should quit while he was ahead. There would be another night, perhaps at his place, where he could ravish her in private. He didn't own any pets, preferring to love and care for other people's animals instead. He enjoyed the lack of responsibility in that regard, as well as his privacy at home. He froze, wondering if a relationship between them would work. He wouldn't expect her to give up her animals, but if they ever moved in together, he wasn't sure he wanted animals around. Talk about putting the cart before the horse. Considering they'd literally had a cart and horse that hadn't worked out well earlier in the evening, he chose to make a tough decision. As much as he wanted her, needed to plunge his cock into her, he wouldn't do it under these circumstances. He planted a kiss on her cheek. How about we continue this in the morning? 